Before the break, we asked what percentage of party goers have no idea where they slept after their Christmas do. The answer is a shameful 17%. Britain's brightest daytime show with Natalie Pinkham, Steve First and Donna Eyre. Catch her in Hollyoaks, King of Hearts, tonight at 10 on 4. I don't get a little later this morning on this show. Uh, we're going to be talking Christmas telly with that guru of the goggle box, Mr Kevin O'Sullivan. Uh, will he recommend Doctor Who's latest festive jaunt? What about the new airport caper from the little Britain boys? We'll find out shortly. Uh, first, though, did you or your other half fail to make it home from the Christmas party? <laughs> Where did you sleep? <laughs> oh, 0207173555 is the number for your stories. Uh, the after the better. A new survey, as I keep saying, it suggests that more than half of us have failed to return home after at least one Christmas party. One in six of us fall asleep in a loo or bathroom. Thousands. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 not, that's not Eric, no. Uh, thousands wake up in bed with a workmate, or even worse, the boss. Uh, some come to on a plastic chair in A&E after throwing some intoxicated shapes on the dance floor. Uh, and I was telling you the other day about this bloke I worked with on a certain newspaper, the Daily Mirror, uh, who headed back to the office to get his coat before catching the last bus home, only he never made it to the bus stop. He came round several hours asleep, uh, later asleep in the revolving door to Canary Wharf. <laughs> and there's your story, Eric. Yes, indeed. So this year, uh, I just got very, very drunk and I ended up uh, in the bed with a production secretary. <gasps> Nothing happened, though. His name's called Stephen. Very nice bloke. <laughs> Um, but the, uh, there's, actually, there's actually four of us in the bed, which I don't know how that happened. Um, but, the, but the really funny story is a couple of years ago where the company put 10,000 quid behind the bar and I just got about two bottles of champagne, uh, missed my last train, uh, just got on the, on the night bus, ended up at Euston Station, um, and I woke up the next morning, sat on the toilet about half past nine. Um, so, you know, I had somewhere nice and warm and dry to sleep at least. Oh, yeah. Well, a nice look on the positive side of that story. <laughs> yes, yes. So I didn't make it home. <laughs> it's amazing. It's my party tonight. I've got high expectations <laughs> now. I've got a lot home? to live up to. I hope not. <laughs> you, do you always make it back? Sorry to always make it home. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, yes. Yeah. I do. Yeah. That looks suspiciously like the real answer is no. no. But I'll take of course I word. do. Of course I do. <laughs> well, you, Steve, you always make it home? Yeah. I've got, yeah, no matter what condition I'm in. I'm like always, a homing pigeon. Always. Yeah. Yeah. I want yeah. my bed. Yeah, yeah. When I, because it's, it's always more comfortable than a toilet. <laughs> or, uh, and I don't want five people in my bed. I just want me in my bed. <laughs> yeah, you know? it's true. I like what, my own bed. Yeah. What is it about Christmas parties, though? Everyone works so hard all year. Yeah. It's like build up credibility and respect within their business and then just throw it all out the window at the yeah. Christmas party. But it's not as though it's the only it, night that people go out. But it's, it seems that way. And it's always like the quiet ones. The IT guys, the geeks, oh, yeah. who suddenly just let, I mean, throw caution to the wind. And one of the guys who will remain nameless just got absolutely hammered at the Christmas party. Had always fancied one of the production secretaries. It's always the production secretary. Yeah, 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 yeah. I walked up to her. I don't know why he thought this was going to do him any good in terms of pulling her, but literally just yanked down her boob tube dress, <laughs> bra went with it, and she's just standing there with her boobs out in the middle of the party. No, this sounds uh, like a proper party, and then what? Yeah. <laughs> then they're married. How, <laughs> yeah, how on earth do, do, do you face the same your colleagues the next day? Yeah, I don't know. I can remember. I can't, like I said, I'm like this homing pigeon, so yeah. I, I can forget where I am, but I will always make it home. <laughs> and uh, I've been in temporary accommodation, and I, I came home. To, uh, this is a year back, came home to a, uh, a camp bed, which I never actually bothered putting up, so I just fell asleep on the folded up no. camp bed on the floor. Don't recommend that one. <laughs> Kirsty, you're worryingly quiet. No, I, I slept in two strange places. One was my bath. It, there was no water in it. <laughs> just got in the bath? <laughs> yeah. And uh, the second one was I had, uh, I don't know how I did this, but I've got a fold up, um, you know, the dressing things with the panels like this. No. no. The screen, like screen, a screen. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I basically, I, I was yet to put the material in it, so there were just panels like this. And I must have just fallen and it collapsed over me and I just slept in that. Oh. <laughs> Classy. <laughs> OK. We have, it's us northerners, you see. We have Rasheen on line one. Ah, oh, Rasheen, good morning. Hello, hi there. Hi, hi there. So what about you? You've got a fine Irish name, so... Uh, oh, any... all right, thanks. <laughs> so uh, do you make it home? 
Um, well, nearly. <laughs> <laughs> nearly. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, um, I had the night, of the, um, it was on Friday night, and I came home, and I um, came home to the flat, and I was trying to get the key into the door, and I couldn't get the key into the door. It was really dark outside, and I, I just couldn't get in, so I started kicking the door in. Right. So mild mannered machine. And then uh, just started again, and just fell on over, over the city, and just fell asleep. But I uh, woke up the next morning and I realised that I wasn't a male fat. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> That's the uh, Robert Downey uh, Jr. defence, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my God. word! The, the guy's flat downstairs, but he wasn't in at the time. So yeah, they had no idea, so you just legged it? No, I didn't. Actually, I phoned the landlord <laughs> and he came out and fixed his door and all, so it was OK. Like, but I just really died, you know, when I woke up, I was like, where am I? <laughs> oh, it was a nightmare. I, I think we're going to struggle to beat that yeah. one, Rasheen. Thank you. Let's have another. Um, we have Eric in the Probably audience, I think he's on the uh, Right, we've got uh, Adam here from St Albans, so what's your funny tale? Well, I, I will put a disclaimer of this. It was several years ago at the office party during my nursing days. And uh, they're the worst. They, yes. they certainly are. Well, we didn't eat beforehand, Matthew. Ooh. So they're always dangerous. I got very, very drunk, very amorous with a lot of the staff. And um, I, I woke up in somebody else's bed the next day. It appears that Carlsberg do do Christmas parties. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Well, if you are doing your Christmas party uh, tonight or indeed tomorrow night, we're doing ours tomorrow, make sure you look after yourself. And that is our phone-in, our last phone-in for the day done and dusted. Kevin's uh, Christmas telly preview still to come. Which means it's farewell to you, Don. Oh, Lovely well, to thank see you. you for having me. It's been a long good. time. We used to see each other a fair bit around yes, town. Yes, I think you, know. you interviewed me when I was in a pop group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a long time back. So um, best of luck with Hollywood. Yeah, Merry Christmas as well. Yeah, that's, that's the first well. person to say it. That's a nice one. <laughs> Natalie and Steve, we'll see you tomorrow. Go on, one more time, Matt. Come on.